Arsenal fan TV, you got your voice back now. I was, saw you at Palace, you'd lost yeah, your voice. I apologise for that. I would like to say it was because of my chanting, but the actual truth was it was my birthday the night before. And I was oh, over, the so, truth comes out. Yeah, yeah, Great man. win today. Great win today. And, you know, after his goal, I think instead of Ram Z, it should be Ram Messi with a night at the end, you know, because that's a bit more of an accurate reflection. But, yeah, what a goal. And I think he's going to have his own goal of the season competition. Forget um, mm. Wilshire and Kazami. I mean, he scored three great goals already this mm. season so mm. yeah it's fantastic now if we put that performance into context you've got to look at as well I mean a lot of players missing no Theo Walcott no Wilshire no Podolski no Chamberlain loads of key players um, for <laughs> Abu Diab <laughs> Abu Diab <laughs> <laughs> loads, of, lo lo loads of loads of key players missing um, Liverpool more or less their full strength team really no problems today and you've missed out the most important one, Flamini. He's yeah. uh, the biggest kid. I mean, even more than Ozil, we could replace Ozil. But Flamini, there's no one else like him. And uh, today, I think Arteta um, did a, a great job. He's actually nearly man of the match for me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I was questioning bringing him back so quick the other week. But I think today, um, he really held it together in midfield. We, it was a very calm and composed mm. performance. We didn't. That's the first time that the SAS haven't scored this season apart from Southampton mm. at home. So that's a lot. They didn't have hardly many chances at all. So mm. I think we marshaled that really well. And we were known as a gung-ho team, but today I thought we were very mm. um, in control. It was a solid performance and it's great to get a clean sheet. And is that sending a message to everybody else today? Not quite the same as Man City winning 7-0, but I think in terms of winning a big game. But that's like, against Norwich, but it's oh, Liverpool no, yeah, today. Yeah. But everyone in the media keeps saying, oh, we're going to come unstuck and everything. We've only been playing... Um, mid-table to lower teams but we can only beat what's put in front of you we have yep. beaten some good teams this season and there's a lot every game in a premiership is a battle and we're five points clear for a reason not just because of our fixture list and I mean I went to Helsinki uh, in pre-season and we battered Man City that day I know it's only mm. pre-season but we can outplay the big teams and hopefully I mean next week will be tough uh, Old Trafford's a ground that we annually struggled at I think a draw up there you know, isn't a bad result. They're coming, Van Persie and Rooney are in form. So, um, I mean, we can win, but we'll see. But also, I just want to say a few words about Alan Hansen as well. Mm. It's now that, you know, I'm a TV pundit, I feel that I've, I'm qualified to, you know, <laughs> give my opinion on him. And I just, he's obviously been shouting his mouth off about how we've got no chance of winning the league and we're going to finish fourth at absolute best. And that's rubbish. And so, you know, message from all the Arsenal fans to him is that we're five points clear now. You know, we made his Liverpool team look like an average team, apart from Suarez. And no one really cares about his views anyway. Was, I mean, he's racist. He's, he's, he talked about Man United not being able to win anything with kids. And, you know, don't care. He can shut his mouth up, you know. We're, we're here to stay.